hello guys you are welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to take you through how to fill the ds160 form for b1 b2 visa applicants so if you are coming to the us for tourism for medical care you are coming for a visit for vacation for graduation or whatever non-immigrant visa that fall under b1 b2 this video is for you i'm going to show you all that you need to fill your form well to get your visa approved the way you fill your visa form can affect your visa decision. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you go to your Google or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then you type fill the DS-160 form online. So I have it here. Good. So this is open for me. Let me. Then I go to. So this page will open for me. So I have to select my country. I'll be going for my interview in Ghana. So I'll select Ghana Accra. Then I will enter the code I see here. So I see this code M6VM. Now I'll go to start an application. So here, uh, this space will open for me. I have to agree to this. Then there is some security question that I must answer. What is the given name of your mother's mother? Here I will say Sarah and I will go to continue. Now when this space is open, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you capture this number. This number that you see on your screen, the one I have highlighted. This number, you capture it, right? You capture this number. So make sure you capture this number. You keep it so well because you will need it in the entire process. If you lose it, it means you have to re you have to fill the form again. Good. So I will enter my surname up here. Okay, my given name Alfred. Uh, I don't have any uh, native name in alphabet. Have you used any other name? I'll go to no. Here to I'll type no. My sex, I am a, a male, marital status, say married, then uh, date of birth, uh, I'll choose 11th November, no, uh, yes, 23rd November, 2000, I was born in 2000, as many of you are aware, so this is my date of birth, city, right, city of birth, I was born in Accra, state or province, does not matter, country is Ghana. So, I go to save first. You have to constantly be saving your application because uh, sometimes you'll be timed out. So, after saving, I'll go to next page. So, this is also asking me some questions. Okay. Country of originality, Ghana. Uh, I'll come to, do you hold, do you hold or have you held any national? Ad no, I, I, I have. Are you a permanent resident? No. Uh, national identification number I don't have so I'll go to does not apply uh, US social security number I don't have so does not apply I will save it then I'll go to next right so okay does not apply I will save it first continue and go to travel if you don't save it and something happened and you are timed out you have to go back to it again, I want to avoid that. So, purpose of trip to the US. So, what class of visa you have to make sure you select the right type. So, here it is temporary business pleasure visit B. So, I'll select B specific business and tourism, business and conference, tourism and medical. I am going for uh, uh, business and tourism. So, that is temporary visit. That's what I'm coming for. Then uh, have you made specific travel plans? Usually I choose no. You don't have to buy your ticket and all that. It depends, but I will choose no. Intended date of travel. I want to go on 1st of, let's say, uh, July 2023. That's intended date of arrival. Intended length of stay. I want to stay for just uh, two weeks. Mm -hmm. Good. Then address or line where you'll be staying in the US, right? So I'll be staying in three five four Kana streets uh, <laughs> Kana streets and the city is New Haven so this don't copy what I'm <laughs> I, I'm doing for your address so this is 
where you should put where you'll be staying there. Right. And the the state is Connecticut. Good. And the zip code is zero six five one one. If you don't have this information, ask the person uh, who is inviting you. Person or entity paying for your trip. So who is paying for your trip? Are you paying for yourself? Is other person paying? So for me, I'll be paying myself. So I'll take self. If you are paying by employer, you just select or that uh, the, the, you just go through and select, right? So I will save it first, then I will continue. Now you come to travel companion. Uh, please, uh, are you traveling with the other person? No, I'm going alone. I will save it, then I'll come to continue. Uh, travel again. Have you been in the United States? I said no. If you have been in the United States, you have to take yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been issued a US visa before? No. If you have been issued a US visa, you take yes. Have you ever been, so assuming you take yes, right? Uh, this is what will come. Date of last visa issued. So you're going to put the date the last visa was issued, the visa number, mm -hmm. you have to put everything here. I don't have that, so. Uh, have you ever been refused a US visa or been re been refused admission into the US before? So here, if you have gone for interview before and you have been refused, you take yes, and they will ask you the reason. So you just explain the reason. So assuming you have been refused, you could say that, oh, I wanted to visit for, uh, I went to the, I, I came for interview this time and I was refused and there was no reason given and I didn't know why I was refused. If you have not been refused, you take no, as, as simple as that. Have you ever filed an immigrant petition on your behalf? Uh, or, so if somebody has filed for you or you have filed for yourself, but I have not, so I'll say no. So continue. Now I'll go to address or phone. So home address. So my home address, any eighty five, and it's a Juma phone. Okay, state or province does not apply. My country, obviously Ghana. Your mailing address is the same as yes. My phone number, okay, uh, zero five four six hundred seven five four three. Secondly, that's no. I don't have. I don't have work phone number. Have you used any? No, I've not used any phone number. Your email address, Alfred Apia. Okay, email. Let me use Beit Lamad. Beit Lamad uh, at gmail.com. Good. Have you used any other email? No, I have not. Social media. Yes, I have social media. I have Facebook. And the name of my Facebook is Beit Lamad. Good education. Uh, good. Uh, if you have other social media platforms like Twitter or whatever, you can add it here. So if you click here, you, they will give you another option. But I'm just using Facebook, so I should be good. Do you wish to provide information about your presence or any other website? No, I don't have any other website. So I'll go to save, continue. Then I'll come back to next. Here we are going to passports. My passport is regular. If you're a diplomat, then you select diplomatic. My passport is regular. And my passport number is the one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Uh, passport books does not apply. City, Accra, states. If shown on a passport, no. Uh, issue date. When was your passport issued? So I'll say my passport was issued 2021. And it was by uh, December 2025. Good. Have you lost passport? No, I have not. So I'll go to save. Continue. Now I come to US contacts. So contact person in the US is Alfred Apia, myself. And uh, uh, Apia. Uh, Organization name do not apply. Relationship to you, Alfred Apia is my friend. So whatever relationship the person is to you. If you are coming for conference, right, you select others. If you are uh, coming to visit your relative, you select a friend, business associate, employer, somebody is uh, sponsoring you in the US. If you are coming to school, you select. So I, I would say a relative. Okay, address and phone number of points of contact. So address is 354 Kana Street. Good. And uh, the city is New Haven. And the state is Connecticut. 
zip code is what and what then email bait lamad right so bait lamad at gmail dot com and phone number five five four five 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 six five five so i'll go to save then i'll go to continue then you come to family information so father's name so my father is alfred Surname name is apia and uh, given name is alfred my father was born first january uh, 1995 2020, <laughs> 2018 <laughs> and if you don't know you can just stick i don't know it shouldn't be a problem is your father in the u.s no if your father is in the u.s you select yes yeah make sure this is clear your mother's name i don't know my mother's name so you put it if you don't know your mother's name you put it there right but for me my mother is uh, apia and the given name is alfred uh, I don't know my mother's date of birth, so I'll say I don't know. Is your mother in the U.S.? No. Do you have any relative not including parents in the U.S.? No. If you have a relative, then you take yes. Okay. Then do you have any other relative in the U.S.? No. Assuming you are coming to visit somebody who is a relative, who is an uncle, then here you have to take yes. It is very, very important. And maybe you have a long distance uncle, somebody, you, your parent told you that you have a brother, you have an uncle uh, who came to the US in 1964 during the Ghana war and all that and you, you don't have contact with the person and all, don't worry about yeah. yourself. Don't put any information about somebody you are not sure. Ask the person before you put the information here. So you go to save. I hope you will be timed out. I'm feeling this so fast. so. You have not received any time out yet but this time i'm definitely sure that they are going to time us out <laughs> oh time my god so yeah you see so if you spend less than two minutes on one form you are going to be timed out that's why i said you should keep on saving so a e r a d here if you if you didn't so now you come back to retrieve application don't go to start if you start application that is me you are going to start all over going to retrieve right so retrieve then the the number that you had you you your ds160 confirmation number that i told you to keep right you write that number here uh, it's called abonzege abonzege number <laughs> right so go to retrieve then okay am i retrieving this something is not right i have to enter all the numbers so a is a zero b w C good. It should be correct. It's not working. Oh. Let me reload this. Retrieve. Good. So first and last name. So sorry. This is first five last letters of your surname. Year of birth 2000. And your mother says Sarah. So retrieve. Good. Now we come back to where we started from right so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go to save because i didn't save it you know have you seen where they've taken i have to go back to the family side and type my father's information again that's why i said make sure you keep on saving it it is important appear our friend date of birth here i'll see i don't know he's not in the u.s my mother too is appear our friend and uh, uh, date of birth too, I don't know. She's not in the US. I don't have any relative in the US. I don't have any other relative in the US. If you have relatives in the US, make sure you take yes. Then you save. Then you continue. You come to spouse. When you select that you are married, they ask you about your spouse information. So my spouse is called Alfred Apia. Uh, and my spouse date is my spouse is a minor, right? So. 2015 my spouse is from united kingdom right right so my spouse is from togo okay city of hey, i don't know any city in togo <laughs> so let me see lome 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 right <laughs> it's l-o-m-e right mm -hmm. good uh country hey country again togo country is Togo 
these are my information so you also have to have your information then you have to save Ooh. once you finish okay so something is not done yes my spouse address so spouse address is the same as my home address so here i'm living with my spouse good continue now go to work and education i am so here what is your occupation what do you do right so let me see i i am into education and what do i do i am a teacher present employer ghana education service ghana education service Good and the address NE eighty five eighty five city is Accra province does not apply does not apply phone number is here country Ghana start date I started first January twenty six nineteen monthly income I receive two thousand three two thousand five hundred twenty eight Ghana cities so yes. Describe your duty. I teach high school students. I so yes, I teach high school students. That's my duty. That's what I do. High school students. So here you put in what you do, your duties and order. I'll go to save, continue. I come to education. Were you previously employed? No. Uh, if you are previously employed, you say yes, and they will give you option to enter your previous employment information. These informations are very important to keep. If you have previous employment, it is good to enter them. Very, very important. Have you attended education institution? Yes. So, I will start. Provide the following information uh, at the secondary. So, I start from my high school level, right? So, Brahman Esikuma. Brahman Esikuma. And the address is NE84 or 53, and the city is Esikuma. And state does not apply, it's Ghana. And I studied business. Business. Date I went, uh, October, I went to school 2008. I graduated in October 2012. Good. Then you add another one, right? So after I went to University of Cape Coast, UCC, the address and the city is Cape Coast. Good, Cape Coast. Does not apply, does not apply. Ghana, course of study, become, right? When did I go to UCC? I went to UCC on uh, September 2012. Then I graduated uh, 2016. Then you add another one, right? So here I'm now at Yale University. So if you have masters, whatever education you have, you, you add it. Good. Then you go to save, then you go to continue. You must do this, take your time as quickly as possible in order to fail it. Okay, do you belong to a clan? Yes. What clan? I am a fancy or I can. Good, I can right language okay provide a list of language you speak i speak english and three english and three good have you traveled to any other country yes what country is that i went to germany uh, where is germany gabon good if you have not traveled to any no a uh, you have ne you have never traveled Take no. So let me see. I've never traveled. Have you belonged to uh, or work for any social charitable organization? Yes. Uh, what is the organization? Amazing Grace Adam Foundation. Foundation. If you have not worked for any organization, take no. Do you have any special skills or training in, in firearms explosive? This part is really important. So make sure you pay attention and read it all. Have you ever? Uh, served in the military no have you served in served in or been a member of or involved in any no i have not then i go to save continue so these are security questions and you must take your time to answer them do you have any communicable disease no i don't have do you have any mental no i don't have are you or have you ever been a drug abuser or 
add it no go to save and go to continue to background check have you been arrested or convicted of any offense no so all this place for me i'm taking no no so you have to read through and make sure that you understand it so well before you answer because this part can make or break your visa application very very important very important very important good 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 so i'm answering no for everything here because i have already read through and i know what is there so you must also read through and know what is there no no i'll go to save continue application security bag and the last one no 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 save continue to photo so here you're going to upload your photo starting from november whatever so i'm going to upload so i'll choose a photo that i like if i have a photo so let's say uh, no there's no other. browse this will take me to my computer to choose a photo uh, to upload note that when you are going for the visa interview too it is important that you go with a picture you go with a picture very very important when you're going for the visa interview so once you upload the photo you save it then you submit it but i always advise take your time don't submit it or complete the application send it right away give yourself few days and see if there are some corrections that you have to make before you submit it i hope you find this helpful please let us know your thoughts in the comment section and make sure that you reach out if you need help you have questions just reach out to us and we are willing and able to help you always remember that theology is fine share like and also subscribe to our channel thank you bye, -bye.